Whoa, that took about two seconds. Snake eats once a week on Sundays. One small feeder mouse. Sunday, June 3rd, 2007. I think he's already captured the prey. He's strangling it now. Suffocating it. Sorry about the frames jumping back and forth. It's trying to focus between the glass and the camera. So it's kind of jumpy. Old camera. Very old camera. My snake is, my snake is not that old though. It's a, it's a Colombian red tailed boa. We got him about last, we got, got him about January 28th. Alright, here's where it's going to the most important part is where the snake has to find the nose. The snake swallows it backwards. Sometimes they can't get the tail or the back legs in. Normally this is a pretty quick project. Maybe uh, Snakey's a little uh, camera shy. Dad, I'm going to strike out the glass. Alright, we might take a break here for a second. And let uh, Snakey get back to bed. Oh, uh, there Snakey goes. Okay. All right, I think he's fine in the head. Yep. For some reason, it's a built-in instinct. The snake always knows where to find the nose instead of the tail. This is a relatively young snake, but he's always found the nose. Keep him till he's 15 feet. Right now he's about almost about three feet. About two and a half. I'm gonna keep him till he's 15. And when he dies, when he croaks at the age of 40 or over.
This whole process doesn't take long, maybe about five to seven minutes. But this process, he couldn't find the head. But he attacked it and, and strangled it fairly quickly. He's dragging the body out. It's his breakfast, lunch, and dinner for one week. You feed him once every week. Sorry about the shaking. Got the front legs pretty much in. Typically, when we get towards the tail end, the snake's going to pick the mouse up uh, just to let the help the mouse slide down in. going to kind of raise up like a cobra. And it has to dislocate its jaw. It breaks its own jaw just to swallow its food, but right after it's done swallowing its food, it yawns and, it, and, his, and his bone and his jaws reattach. They're specially designed so the bones break when they're swallowing or eating a prey, and then when he's finished, he, his jaw relocates. He, he yawns, and his jaw relocates. Back together again. He's getting to the tail end of the mouse. And this is happening, this is happening every week, and this is the only week we're getting this on tape. This is live. Live snake and mouse video. He's moving it around, he's picking it up so it helps it swallow him. As you can clearly see now. And there's when the tail goes down finally. He's having his finishing meal. There's his tail sticking out. The mouse's tail, and he's finishing his breakfast, lunch, and dinner for one week. Looks like he's got a toothpick. And he's still in the mood to bite. He's still in the mood to eat and attack. So you should never get near a snake after he eats, feeds. Because right now he might charge at the screen. And wouldn't that be a sight to see? But he does it lightning fast. So I don't think he probably does it. He has these itty bitty shark teeth, which is a u a use to catch and hold play in price. And that's the last of the mouse. Still got his tail out. He's not swallowing the tail. Oh, and you see all that blood? And the mouse is still, he's still swallowing the mouse, but he's, he's following this 